Taobao, oh my gosh. I met so many like cool, amazing, cultured people. Like I swear, I ordered it every day to my work. Um, it was actually crazy. <laughs> What's up to all my Felicia's out there? You're watching the Sydney Mewson Show with your host, Sydney Mewson. <laughs> So for whatever reason, today I decided to sit down and shoot this video because I was feeling a certain way about China and just, you know, a lot of emotions have come forward <laughs> due to this whole situation and I don't know why, but I just, I really miss China and I just want to share some of the things that I do miss about being in China, living in China, working in China, um, and maybe it will help it get off my chest and just kind of release whatever feelings I had towards it because obviously there's nothing I can do at this point except for try to move forward. So with that being said, I have a few things that I have really missed about being in China. The first one being the food. <laughs> this is one that's very important to me because food is my life and I just love trying foods from different cultures and countries. Now the two main dishes that I loved when I was in China were one, the dumplings, right? And two, their handmade noodle dishes. So first the dumplings, I mean, I just, I think there's nothing else to say about it. The first thing I had when I got to China was a dumpling. So it just had to be my one and only. <laughs> the second thing was this noodle dish. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called. It's basically noodles, eggs, and tomato, like all mixed together. And I pretty much ate that every day. Like I swear I ordered it every day to my work. Um, it was actually crazy. <laughs> I think what I liked most is that there's just so many different flavors and different uh, cultures like combined. One day I would have Thai food and the next day I would have an Italian place, but it would have a Chinese flair to it and that's what I really, really liked about it. The next thing that I miss about China are all the people that I met there. This is both Chinese people and people from all over the world. I was amazed at how many travelers, foreigners are in China were in China when I was there. I met so many like cool, amazing, cultured people and it really just seemed like a big melting pot. But in regards to Chinese people, they were some of the kindest people I'd ever met. And one thing that really stuck with me when I was there was that anytime I had a problem, I could just talk to any of them and they were so willing to help me and they were just so nice about it. My biggest problems were the translation issues when I was trying to download an app or, you know, get food delivered or something and they would just be so nice about it. I know that can be so annoying, like someone asking you like, oh hey, can you translate this? Oh hey, can you put this information in? All that stuff I know can be super annoying, so I'm just very thankful and, you know, I, I left China feeling that they are very helpful and nice people. So the next thing I really liked about living in China was the cheap expenses. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the fact that everything was very affordable was really nice. Um, I can just say like, for example, the food, very, very cheap for a big portion. Um, my rent, my apartment, I had a two bedroom apartment and this is crazy, I, I didn't believe it myself, but I paid 300 US dollars a month. Maybe 350 in total with like heating, water, electricity, like everything. 350 a month. I mean, it's just shocking. Like, you can't live off of that here in the States, off, you know, in the month. And I was spending maybe like $400 a month on everything. That was definitely one of the perks of moving to China. And I'm not gonna lie, I do miss, <laughs> I do miss, you know, cheap food. It's just, you know, what can you say? The cheaper it is, the more you get. I mean, come on, come on. So this leads me into my next thing that I miss about China, which is Taobao. Taobao, oh my gosh. It's like, it's like Amazon times a thousand. And you can find anything you could ever dream of at the smallest price you can imagine. <laughs> like I bought everything in my apartment. I definitely miss Taobao. I even have the the app still on my phone because sometimes I just look at it and cry. 
I just want to order some things off of it so bad. Well, the worst part of it is like I still have money sitting in my account in China. So I'm like, technically I could buy it, but it wouldn't have nowhere to go because I don't have my address there. I got this huge mirror, like it was massive. And I ordered it off Taobao when I was in China and it was $11. It ended up coming out to 11 US dollars. And I was like, this thing is huge. It literally completed my apartment. So the last thing that I miss about China and it's one that I'm just, I don't know. I think I'm still getting over this one, <laughs> but uh, the travel, the travel opportunities. Oh, I could go to Shanghai in an hour by train. I could fly to Singapore, to Thailand in under three hours. It was oh, all the things I could have done. You know, it's, it's a little bit sad thinking about that, but you know, that's just another reason to go back one day. I don't know, travel is just such a big part of my life that it's hard for me to, oh, like when you have it sitting in front of you and it was right there, it's like, oh, you're so close. But now, you know, I wanted to go to the Philippines. I wanted to go to Singapore. I wanted to go to, I don't know, wherever else is over there, Japan. I wanted to go to all those places and I just can't right now. And it's a little sad, it's a little sad, but it's okay. I think the reason why I wanted to make this video today was because not only was I really missing China, but I kind of felt like a piece of me is still there in a way. And I'm not only saying that like figuratively, it's because like my stuff, my <laughs> possessions are still stuck in China, as some might say. And um, I know a lot of other people are going through the same thing. Like they're probably a little bit stressed, a little bit shafted the experience of <laughs> getting their stuff back um, from China. But as much as it sucks, it kind of gives me hope that one day I can go back to retrieve it, but also to maybe continue a journey there or something. I'm not really sure. I just kind of had that feeling when I woke up today and that's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very impromptu sit down video, but I kind of like these because they just kind of show more of what I'm thinking and what's happening real time. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye Felice.